Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and we're going to take a look at processing XML files in Delphi. Because this is a complex topic and this video needs to be less than 10 minutes for YouTube, we are going to take only a brief look. So let's do that now. Today I have for us an XML file. Uh, this is a, it's about 400 can size and it's a small example of um, what I've been playing with. Uh, and I want to use it in Delphi, or make use of it in Delphi. Now it has a uh, DTD, a document type definition, and we can use that to generate some Delphi code um, to um, manipulate the XML. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. Now if we download this DTD, we get this file, and it describes the XML file. Um, so what we're going to do is in Delphi, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a txml document, which is what we use um, to manipulate XML files in Delphi. And for its file name property, I'm just going to go and connect it up to this XML file which is the one we're looking at and then I'm going to go and import the document type definition so we get file new other XML and then XML data binding so let's go and find our our file and go next and just accept all the defaults and I won't store the settings and go finish and it's generated this huge uh, XML file um, so that's what over almost 7,000 lines of code uh, however uh, it hasn't quite worked it's got a little bit confused, there's, it's generated two postcode uh, fields, this one here and one here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cheat. Um, I'm just going to edit the DTD. If I can find it. Find the postcode. And we come down and I'm just going to change this slightly make these optional and save that and just um, repeat the process Okay, and this time it'll compile. So now we've got the question of how to use it. Well, if we go back into here, uh, what we want to do first of all is in our uses in include property list. Then we have a function get property list and we do it based on our XML document one. And if we look at get property list, it returns an IXML property list type. Now, normally, to access parts of the XML um, file, you'd be using XML document dot um, children and siblings and all sorts of that, that that kind of stuff, which is quite confusing. But I can now just go prop list dot residential dot um, dot address dot street number, for instance. And 
if we run that, fingers crossed, we get to 30. Now, if we look in our XML file, and let's go find search for residential, is our first one, and if we go down to the address, we see that the street number is 30. So we've gone, um, we've got our property list, and we've gone to residential, and then to address, and then street number, and it's found it for us. Um, so, very cool. So what I'll do now is I'll add a D-tree view. And we'll add a bunch of nodes. So what we'll do is we'll do a for loop. For i is assigned 0 to prop list dot residential dot count to begin and I'll need a node or I'll call it a tree node um, tree view one dot items dot add and let's go this actually I'll scrape that much go the unique ID And then we'll go um, so make that a tree node. Okay, so let's run that, and hopefully it'll work, and we've still got our show message. No, it didn't quite work. I wanted add child, probably. And there we have the beginnings of a program that... Um, uses the XML file. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today, so hopefully that um, um, you've learned something from this. Thanks for watching. I hope that some of this video will be helpful and maybe even make some sense. See you next time.